It's from high on Android.com where we get high on Android every day, dog. Uh, anyway, I've got the uh, I've just got the uh, GT i9500, the octa core Exynos processor uh, Galaxy S4 here, and I got my Sprint Galaxy S4. Uh, this is the Qualcomm quad core 1.9 gigahertz. Now let me go ahead and run and tutu. I did run a Quadrant already, and they're about the same. Um, but let me show you some of these scores. Test again here. You'll see that OctaCore does faster with Antutu, which I think is a little bit better indication. Um, and uh, you'll see through this test why it's faster. Now, a lot of people are wondering, a lot of you are wondering what the OctaCore actually is. It has eight cores, but only four cores are actually being used at the same time. The way OctaCore works is that uh, there's four high performance cores and four low performance cores. The high performance cores run at 1.6 gigahertz, whereas the low performance cores run at 1.3 gigahertz. Now, by having eight cores, it can quickly switch between uh, the two cores, uh, it, you know, using the hardware, so it will save you actually a lot more battery life. Versus Qualcomm, it just, um, you know, it's just four cores, and uh, you know, it, this one also ramps down, but you know, it's gonna have to use software to change the voltage. Um, so in theory, the octa-core should have much, much better battery life. Um, but, you know, as far as performance goes, I would say both of them are about the same. And uh, I know some of you are tripping like, oh, I need to get the octa-core because it's got eight cores. Uh, but, you know, I've tested this a bunch of times today and uh, they're pretty much on par. I mean, about the same. You're not going to notice that much uh, performance difference. But if you are a hardcore like gamer, you play games all the time, I mean, it's very important for you. Definitely get the octa-core. It is a little bit faster. The, the GPU is much faster. That's where the difference comes in. Um, and as you can see, the octa-core is actually winning. And uh, you can see that it is a little bit ahead. And uh, you, you can see the frames per second also here. Um, you'll see that the octa-core does a lot better as we go along here. And uh, I've lost my flash here, but we're going to keep going. Um, the frames per second much higher on the octa-core. 36, averaging 36 versus on the right Qualcomm, it's uh, almost like at 13, 12.5. Um, so almost double frames per second for the octa-core. Um, definitely the Exynos processor based on what I've seen benchmarking, um, seems to do a lot better with GPU. And as you can see here, and it's almost done here. There we go. And you're probably going to get exactly the same results um, like I did here. Of course, overclocking can make a big difference. And, uh, you know, I don't know how much you can overclock the octa-core versus uh, also the Qualcomm so you know after overclocking the Qualcomm might actually come up on top if you overclock the GPU uh, but octa-core of course is better and you can see the numbers 28,000 octa-core versus uh, the Qualcomm there and the biggest difference is in GPU 10,104 versus 8563 that's the biggest difference everything else is about the same so I hope this test kind of gives you an insight into um, how the, uh, two of these uh, CPUs perform and the bottom line is for the average, average user you're not gonna notice a difference so definitely uh, I wouldn't worry about it too much but um, you know if you're a hardcore gamer go with the octa-core and also this one should have more ROMs um, because the international version and also there is no 4G LTE on the octa-core GTI 9500 now there are octa-core versions the Korean versions that actually have octa-core and LTE but those LT probably not supported, not the same frequency as the one in the States, uh, you know, and uh, that's why they have two different chimps. Anyway, thanks guys for watching this video. Um, if you like this video, as always, don't forget to hit that like button for me down on the left corner and subscribe to my channel. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Uh, stay high on Android. That was a test of the Antutu on uh, the OctaCore versus Qualcomm. Later. Dude, stay high on Android.